Welcome you all. In this session, we will discuss some numerical based on nozzle. In previous discussion, we had already discussed the different important fundamentals regarding nozzle and in this session, we will discuss some numerical based on nozzle. Right. So this is the numerical. Let me discuss uh, the dictate this problem. In a dry steel at 10 bar and 100 meter per second enters a nozzle and leaves with velocity of 300 meter per second for 60 kg per second of steel mass flow rate. Determine the heat drop in nozzle and find out the state of the steel leaving assuming heat loss to surrounding is 10 kJ per kg and it expands up to 5 bar. Okay, so this is the numerical and this is the problem. Just let me explain the problem in brief. Okay, so first of all, there is a nozzle. Okay, this is nozzle, right? So this one is nozzle. Okay, there are two this is entry and this one is exit, right? Okay, <clears throat> at an entry. It is given that a dry steam. Okay, so at an entry, the dry steam at 10 bar and 100 meter per second of steam enters the nozzle. That means at an entry, the state of steam, the state is what is the state? This state of steam in dry saturated. Right? This is given. This is very important thing. Okay, what is the state of the steam at an entry and exit? This is very important parameters. So at an entry, the, the state of the steam is dry saturated. Okay. And the pressure in this condition, this pressure is given. This is 10 bar. Right? Having velocity of 100 meter per second. The entry of nozzle velocity is 100 meter per second. Per second. And leaves with velocity of 300 meter per second. That means at an exit, the velocity of this one steam is 300 meter per second. For 60 kg per second of the steam mass flow rate. That means this mass flow rate of steam is the mass flow rate of steam is sixteen kg per second. Okay. We have to find the heat drop in nozzle. Okay. First, we have to find the heat drop in nozzle. That means what is the meaning of this heat heat drop? Heat drop means H one minus H two. Okay, where this H1 is the enthalpy of steam at entry. Okay, this value is not given in question. Okay, so we have to find the H1. Okay, this is not given in question. Okay, and parallelly we need to calculate H2 also. Okay, so this thing we have to calculate. For calculating the heat drop, we need to calculate H1 and H2. And this heat drop is equal to H1 minus H2, right? And final state of the steam, okay. That is at an exit of nozzle. What is the state? We have to find the state of the steam. The state of steam, right? That means whether it is wet zone or dry saturated or superheated. This is the state of the steam. Okay. So during after expansion of this uh, steam in nozzle, what is the quality of the steam at an exit? So this is called state of steam. So we have to find the state of steam living, assuming heat loss to surrounding is 10 kJ per kg. That means nozzle is not insulated. Nozzle rejects heat to surrounding. This is equal to Q is equal to minus 10 kJ per kg surrounding. And the, in this uh, nozzle, this expands up to 5 bar. That means at an entry, this is this is 10 bar. At an in, at an exit, this nozzle, this pressure becomes 5 bar. 
so this is all about the problem we have already explained in beginning this basic definition of nozzle this is what was there we had explained nozzle is a device in which velocity is increased several time at an expense of pressure that means at the cost of pressure this velocity increase several times look at an entry the pressure is 10 bar at an exit pressure is 5 bar that means at the cost of pressure at an entry this the pressure of the steam is 10 bar and at an exit pressure of the steam becomes 5 bar that means at the cost of pressure the velocity increase how much times velocity at entry is 100 meter per second and velocity to exit is 100 meter per second. That means velocity is increased three times. Means pressure reduces and velocity increases. That means at an expense of pressure, the velocity in, is increased three times here. That means pressure reduces from 10 bar to 5 bar. And, and uh, due to reduction of 5 bar, this velocity is increased three times. Okay. So this is the very basic uh, definition of nozzle we have explained it earlier. So in this problem, we have to find H1 and H2 because we have to calculate heat drop in nozzle. So we need to calculate enthalpy at an exit, at an entry, and at an exit. This is the first basic important parameters we have to find. And now we have to find the quality of the steam that is at an exit of nozzle, the quality of the steam. What is the quality of the steam at an exit of nozzle? Okay. So basically, overall in this numerical. This is, there is a nozzle in which the dry saturated steam, dry saturated steam having mass flow rate of 16 kg per second enters at the pressure of 10 bar and velocity is 100 meter per second. Okay. After expansion of this nozzle, the velocity becomes 300 times, this is 3 times of uh, entry. Okay. And pressure reduces to 5 bar. This nozzle is, is rejecting heat to surrounding at the rate of 10 kJ per kg. Now we have to find the enthalpy drop and quality of the steam. This is all about the problem. This is very interesting. Just to get trying to solve it. Okay. <clears throat> right. In the solution part. Okay. First of all, you know that this nozzle is open device. This is the there uh, different types of system we have uh, steadily in basic thermodynamics. There are three types of system: open system, closed system, and isolated system. This nozzle is what is this nozzle? Nozzle basically this open system. Okay, open system <coughs> because both mass and heat interaction are taking place. Both mass and heat exchange are taking place. That's why this is called open system. Okay, for open system, basically, what uh, equation we are using? We are using a steady flow energy equation. Okay, for open system, we are using a steady flow energy equation. What is this equation? This equation is H one plus G Z one plus V n square by two plus Q is equal to H two plus G Z two. Into square root two plus two, right? This is the basic steady flow energy equation we know. Okay. In this condition, first of all, <coughs> this Z one is equal to Z two. There is no difference. There is no difference in height of inlet and outlet from this datum line. Okay. This is suppose that this is the datum. Okay. So in this condition, the Z one is Z two. That's why this term is cancelled out. We know that this nozzle is not a work output device. That's why this term will be cancelled out. We don't get any types of work output. In nozzle, only velocity is increased several times at an expense of pressure. So this this is no no work no work output device. That's why this <coughs> concept W is zero. So finally, what what equation we have from this equation? We have H1 plus P n square by 2 plus Q is equal to 
is 2 plus b2 a square b2. Right? This equation reduces this one. So this equation is written here. Okay. See so h1 plus b1 square by 2 plus q. This is q. This is equal to h2 plus b2 square by 2. Here w is given, but we know that the w is 0. Okay. So this term will be <coughs> cancelled out in further. So finally, what we have? This uh, h1 minus h2. This is h1 minus h2. This is equal to h1 minus h2. Right? b2 square minus b1 square by 2 minus q. This equation is written here. Right? From uh, you know this velocity at exit is 300 meter per second velocity at entry is 3m. Uh, this is 100 meter per second. This value is put here 300 into 300 minus 100 into 100. This is 100 square by 2 into 10 to the power 3. Right? So, why this is divided by 10 to the power 3? Because we know that this unit is in kilojoule. Kilojoule per kg. So, we need to convert this unit in kilojoule per kg. That's why this is divided by 1000. This is plus 10. Pi plus 10 because you know that this Q is equal to Q is equal to minus 10 kilojoule per kg. Okay. This nozzle is rejecting heat to surrounding this minus 10 kilojoule per kg. That's why this value is minus Q. This value of Q is equal to how much? This is minus 10 kilojoule per kg. Okay. So after solving this one, we get this is 50 kilojoule. This is the enthalpy drop. So enthalpy drop in nozzle is equal to H, this is H1 minus H2. This is 50 kilojoule per kg. Right? So during expansion of of steam inside the nozzle, the enthalpy drops by 50 kilojoule per kg. Means that means one kg of steam drops 50 kilojoule of heat. Okay. So finally, this heat drop, this heat drop is equal to because we have to convert it in kilowatt. Here, this unit is in kilojoule per kg. Okay, this is heat drop in kilojoule per kg. So finally, we have to convert it in kilowatt. This is equal to mass over it into damage. Mass over it is given. The damage we have calculated. This is 800 kilowatt. That means in this nozzle, this heat drop is equal to 800 kilowatt. This is 800 kilowatt of heat is dropped during this expansion process. And whether this heat is utilized, the heat is light, utilized in increasing the velocity. This heat is utilized in increasing the velocity. This is three times with respect to entry of this uh, entry point of this steam. Right? So the enthalpy drop is 800 kilowatt. This is first bit we have calculated. Now this H1 minus H2 we have calculated this one. 50 kg per kg. Okay. So let me explain this situation. <coughs> now this is uh, because you have to find the quality of the steam. That's why we, you need to understand these things on TS plot also. Okay. At an exit, suppose, at an entry, you know that this is an entry point. This point one is at saturated steam curve. Okay. Why? Because it, it, this is given dry saturated steam enters the nozzle at 10 bar. At 10 bar. That means at 10 bar. This is the constant, this is the line of constant pressure having 10 bar. This is the line of constant pressure of 10 bar, okay? And we know that at, as per given question, this is given that dry saturated steam enters the nozzle. That, that means this point 1 will be lying on dry saturated steam curve. So this is the point one. This is point one lies at dry saturated steam. Okay, so that's why this is the point one, right? In nozzle, we know that the, there is isentropic expansion, right? During this expansion process, this steam, steam expands. This process entropy is, is constant, and this is the exit point. Of fortunately, you can see, you can observe here at an exit this quality this of the steam 
becomes wet. So of course, if the quality is enthalpy drops, that means quality converts from dry saturated to wet condition. So we need to calculate quality of the steam that is dryness factor. This H two is dryness fraction. So during this expansion process, the at an exit of nozzle, the steam becomes wet. Okay. So at this point, at this point, the enthalpy. Let us suppose this H two is the enthalpy at an exit. H one is the enthalpy at an entry. Okay. And this expansion is up to five bar. So this this line is a constant pressure line having pressure is five bar. So expansion takes from takes place from ten bar to five bar. Okay, right. So this is the situation. This is the problem which is explained on TS plot, so that we can find out the quality of the steam, state of the steam. The state of the steam is this state of the steam is wet because this point lies in this wet zone, right? Now we have to calculate the enthalpy at point two and so on. Right. So now we'll proceed ahead. So just to, we are we are seeing here this H one minus H two. Right. This is, this thing we have calculated. This is fifty kilojoule uh, meters per kg, and we know that point one lies at where point one lies at saturated steam curve. Okay. So at ten bar we have to calculate H one. That means that means what is H one? H one is equal to H G at ten bar. So from a steam table, we can find out H G at ten bar, right? So from a steam table, we can find out H G at ten bar. So this is ten bar. You can observe here. This is ten bar. Okay, at ten bar, we can see here this value of H G is two double seven six point two. H G is Okay, at ten bar, it can be seen from the steam table. The <coughs> G is two double seven point six, right? So it is written here by using the steam table. This H one is the H one is two double seven point two double seven six point five kilojoule per kg. So what we have to do at ten bar, this state is already this is a, a dry saturated steam. So from dry saturated steam table, we can find out the value of H one. Okay, since H one minus H two we have calculated, H one we have find from the steam table, so we can find this H two. Okay, so this is this two seven seven six point five minus fifty. This is two seven two six point five kilojoule per kg. So this is value of H two. Okay, so do the the enthalpy of steam at an exit of nozzle is H two. This we have calculated two seven two six point five kilojoule per kg. Okay, now we have to find the quality because we know this point two is lying in wet zone. Okay, by we have already seen uh, by the concept of this property of pure substances. Okay, this H two is equal to H F plus H two H F G. This is at high bar. This is value of this. This is the basic formula we know. Okay, this uh, this concept might have been studied in property of pure substance because point two lies in wet zone. Therefore, this H two is equal to H F plus H two plus H F G. This is a high bar. Now, once again, by using the steam table, we have to find the H F and H F G at high bar. Okay, so this value is wrong. <coughs> by using the steam table, at high bar, so you are supposed to know. 
how to look the steam table this is very important the hf is given 640.1 kJ per kg hfg this is 2107.4 kJ per kg and hg 2747.5 kJ per kg and SG is equal to 6.819 kJ per kg cap. This is the property of steam at 5 bar, right? So, the S2 we have calculated, this is 2725 and HF is 640, this is 640.9 plus H2 into HFG. HFG is 2107.4. Right? This value is into this one, this quantity. Right? This is H2. Okay. So from where this H2 is 0.99. This implies H2 is equal to 0.99. So this is the quality of the state. That means at an exit of user, the <coughs> quality is very close to dry saturated, but this is not dry saturated. So, during expansion process, the steam expands from dry saturated steam, which is at 10 bar, to the wet zone at 5 bar. So, at the at an exit of a nozzle, the steam, the the wet steam having dryness fraction is 0.99 okay <clears throat> okay we can find the entropy of this uh, steam at one two also because this is the basic basic formula s2 is equal to sf plus h2 sfg this is at five bar okay at five bar from the steam table these values are given and from where we can calculate the s2 this is six point 769 kJ per kg Okay, <clears throat> so this is the entropy at an exit of nozzle. So this is all about the problem. This is very interesting problem, <clears throat> right? So in this problem, for calculating heat drop, we have to calculate the enthalpies at at an exit and exit, and for calculating the, the quality of the steam, just uh, we have used some uh, basic formula of, of uh, <coughs> the properties of this uh, pure substance, and with the help of this concept, we have uh, calculated uh, the quality of the steam. Now, this uh, some assignment, some homework, this assignment is given to you. This is your homework, okay? So, on the basis of this discussion, just try to solve this problem. Just, just we are differencing some, changing some data, okay? Right. Okay. At an entry of nozzle, entry of nozzle, the pressure is pressure is no change. Okay, there is no change in pressure. Pressure is ten bar, but the superheated steam. Superheated steam enters at 250 degrees centigrade. Okay. In previous problem, the wet steam at 10 bar was entry. But in in your in the current problem, in your assignment, you have to assume that at an entry, the pressure is same. The, the, the pressure, the steam, the superheated steam, which is at pressure 10 bar, 
and the temperature of 250 degrees centigrade enters inside the nose. Okay, and every data has seen this expansion are taking place at high bar. Now you have to find to find enthalpy drop and quality mistake. You have to find the enthalpy drop and quality mistake as we have discussed in previous form. Only we are changing the quality mistake at the entry of nozzle. Instead of wet uh, this dry steam, the superheated steam having temperature of 250 centigrade enters inside the nozzle. So this uh, numerical we have to solve and we have to post the answer the due date is 17 May 2022. This is your due date. You are supposed to submit the answer of this problem in the Google Classroom, which I have already made for the fourth semester mechanical engineering students. So you are supposed to submit the answer in your Google Classroom latest by 17 5 to, uh, to zero to zero, right? So all the best and uh, we meet in next session, right? Thank you.